Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Secondary Heroes podcast. This is a continuation of our new bonus series of podcasts known as Secondary Shorts, where we talk about what's trending in pop culture and what we're currently doing in relation to movies and TV. This is your host, Trevor, and joining me as usual is... Hey, guys, it's Prague. It's Josh. And it's DeLorean Wolfgang. Yep, that, I'm not coming up with Jeez. anything close. I was thinking, like, all right, what's <laughs> the thing? I, mean, I do all of that Jeez. for the regular show. Why do I have to be like, creative keep it short. every Just short? Keep the same energy, same energy man. Same, same energy. energy. Hey, guys, it's DeLorean Wolfgang. <laughs> Welcome to Secondary Shorts. Walk off soon, soon. <laughs> I just spit all over my screen. We should have like a shorts <laughs> off. Oh, wait, no, hon. That can't be. <laughs> well, I need to go put some shorts on then. <laughs> yes. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, boy. So, what <laughs> so are what's you going on this week? watching? <laughs> I should say, what am I finishing up? Because I did finish up uh, Sharp Objects finally. And that show was phenomenal. I, um, I, I did kind of figure out, like, you know, the whodunit of it, but I didn't know the why. So, that was really interesting. Um, I, I just had a strong inkling, but man, that show was, is so well edited. Like, I don't know, I haven't watched a show or even a movie that had the type of editing and sound editing too, um, that it had. So well worth it. I think if you're into like mysteries and drama, uh, and character dramas too. So yeah, a plus in my book that one of uh, HBO's better shows for sure. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Prog so actually agrees with me on something. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll have to look into the sharp object. Speaking of agreeing on stuff, I got to give a shout out to Prog because I finished Dark Season 1, and that just might be my favorite show on right? TV. Right? It is oh so damn God. amazing. And it's not even the time. Like, I love the time travel aspects and time as a loop, but just the interconnected nature of every person in the village and how that extrapolates over time and generations yes. is just amazing. It gets even darker, yes. Watch right. Dark. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Just do it. Do All it. Right. Do it. Do it. Even if you have do to it. read subtitles, but you don't have to. I mean, even if you put on the terrible English dubs. Just do it. Just do so, it. I'll do the terrible English <laughs> dubs because I'm not reading. <laughs> So to segue um, into that, though, off of that real quick, uh, Dark Season 3 just launched this weekend. We talked about it last week. So I am halfway through it, and wow, just keeps on getting wow. wow that's all I can that's say. That's awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Like. It keeps up the pace. Keeps up the pace, man. It's wrapping things up. I think it's their final season, they said. So Ooh. They'd always, they had perfect always plotted me. it out to three seasons. Yeah, right. which is three nice. seasons is perfect timing. Um, so uh, bouncing off of last week, I finished up leaving Neverland. Um, and then I, yeah. And so I then posted on Twitter that I finished it up. Okay. And that I was like, okay, this is, so bizarre that we still support this guy michael jackson for all that he's done and stuff i got blasted people Uh, did not like that i said what i said (laughs) and they started sending me link after link of how that show was all a fraud and everybody lied on it Oh, you so missed now, you missed the original like hope, like the hoopla around it the I first did. time. <laughs> I was so. going to respond to your tweet and say that you don't have to take the show as a hundred percent fact. Right, yeah. it's okay. just a documentary. Well, if it was fifty percent fact, tell me that that's not wrong. Well, I'm not oh, going to watch that. Well, I already okay. know about Michael Jackson. I don't yeah, need any yeah. <laughs> So I I finished anyway. the show. I now you can stop tweeting me, people, because I believe you. I believe it. I believe that it was all a lie and these guys are all making it up. So that's my leaving Neverland story. I'm over it. I'm done. Right. Oh, we're leaving it. On to the I, next. I'm there leaving it. Oh, I'm we're leaving Neverland. On. Okay. Actually, I'm go. moving on. So actually, no. You know what, Josh? You go next. What are, What are you watching, man? Okay. There's actually two things I was wa- I've was i been watching. Uh, first one's Mr. Iglesias on Netflix. Season oh, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. What's interesting about this is that it has half of the season on there. So maybe huh. uh, production got cut once because of the coronavirus, maybe like filming. Mm-hmm. I mean, sorry. So oh, this probably probably makes sense. After maybe. things die down, they're probably going back and recording the rest. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. for sure. It reminds me of like the writers' strike. Remember back back mm-hmm. when there was that writers' strike, and then all of a sudden, like all these shows just came to an absolute halt. We lost a lot the, of good TV. Yeah, like yeah. lost. <laughs> I think one of them was like Dirty Sexy Money was a There's really a fun show. And then all of a sudden it was like er, hard pivot, bad writing. Just you remember, you remember Heroes? Oh, yeah. oh. Heroes. Yep. Oh, a lot heroes of people were affected. So a lot of shows. Good. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, same thing. Maybe is happening. That, yeah. So maybe the same thing's maybe. happening with yeah with with this. It could I mean, be. not yeah, probably like not picked, to the full extent. It got picked up, I think, for ne- for another season. So it's strange sure. that. And the writers can still work. Yeah. Yeah, home. writers can still work for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I don't know what's going on. But it's a good show. There you go. Okay. Right. You said you had a second show as well. Oh, uh, second one's more like a guilty pleasure. Ah, nice. It's uh, Married at First Sight. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna say Ninety Day Fiance. So. <laughs> 90, no, I thought it was that. I was, I was, uh, I went to visit my sister. Uh, was it last week? And she was like, "Oh, let's watch a show." And I was like, "Oh, whatever. I don't, I don't know about this." And Is this like the blind like, date thing? Well, they come get on, married? the like, yeah, name they, of yeah, it sounds awful. Yeah, they, uh, they take like a questionnaire and they fill out like what their interests are, what they look for. Huh. And then these, uh, m- these, uh, these match people, they just find the perfect person for them and they marry them mm. thanks for eight, eight, match eight weeks or make me no. a match yes. for eight weeks and then or was it like i forget what this span of time is but then at the end of that they figure out if they want to stay married to them or not wow hard so. pass yeah hard pass. <laughs> it was interesting i got caught up in it so i had to finish the story uh, so. guilty well, course, pleasures are yeah. fun though i like yeah. the guilty yeah, pleasure course. sometimes yeah my guilty pleasure right now is still floor is lava oh, that show yeah. is hilarious just because all the contestants are so annoying, but you get to see them smack face first into various items, and it's all done to classical music. Oh, oh wipe out. I, I love, love that show. making fun of people. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I like well, making fun of people. Oh, oh hey, what's going oh. on here? You're. Oh, hey! nice! Live on Secondary Shores, we are now an official Twitch affiliate. We are Wait. official <laughs> Twitch affiliate. We did it. All we needed was three people to watch every day. Uh, this, Justin, your daily prognosis. Uh, the secondary heroes have been honored with the title of Twitch affiliate. Thank you. I like that Thank you make it about yourself, prognosis. Yes. Yeah. I love the prognosis. I think that that needs to be a thing. Yeah, maybe. You know what? We'll if see. you like the prognosis at home while you're listening to this, please let us know. Let us know. Maybe, maybe I'll start um, doing it. I actually started a new show for my family. Mm. Smallville. Oh, that's yep. not new. I'm skewing it. <laughs> new to the family. Smallville. <laughs> Honestly, I'm loving it. I love the music. It's taking me back to high school days. My wife said that she watched it when she was a kid and loved it. So now it's like, this is awesome. Oh, I'm all in on this. Smallville. Yeah, I haven't Smallville, watched that show in forever. Show. I think I've only watched like the first two seasons back in the day, and I like barely remember it. I love the guy who plays Superman. Yeah, I love um, this guy. He's awesome. His name is. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good yeah. Superman. Yeah. He played him perfect. Yeah, played him yeah, perfectly. There you I go. mean, down home farm boy. Anyway, so yeah, that's those are my two shows that I've got. Very nice. <laughs> Do you have any, any any breaking news or things that are happening in the oh, pop culture world? Yeah, oh. I know Trevor. one big thing that's happening. Oh yeah, probably What's the that? biggest event in the history of time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I that? think I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know. Jason Momoa is gonna be no! oh. <laughs> Unreal. No, nope. not what I was thinking. No, nope. mm-hmm. hard pass. So that's so. Do you know, is that like when you know your career's taken off, or is it kind of? It yeah, that's when your career's falling back down to earth. You're like smashing. Oh, dude, totally. Are you kidding me? That's like. Well, hold on. But his career is frozen. Is the Rock is. was uh the what was it Tooth Fairy. Yeah, but that was at the beginning of the career, not yeah. at the end. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I yeah Jason see... Momoa, man, he did the Super Bowl commercial. And now he's frosty. I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's got hoping a that Snyder agent. could. He's <laughs> hoping that Snyder could re- uh, boost him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it gives him a boost. <laughs> Better hope that or else his career is gonna melt. <laughs> Prog bringing that heat. That's two. Let's get away from frosty. <laughs> Let's get away from Fossey because there is bigger news. I think Josh should tell this story. It's a pretty big story that broke today. You want to take oh, this, Josh? What happened today? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> all out uh, Amazon series, yeah. which is I'm excited for. I don't know what's going to actually happen. Right. We all know the storyline. All, all, they, all they really mentioned was that they're going to bring on the producers of uh, Westworld as the producers of um, this show for Amazon. Mm-hmm. So it's Amazon, which makes great television, and it's the Westworld producers who obviously made great television. I think they would be do really well with that that mm-hmm. world of Fallout because Fallout has like the robots, and they do have all those you know fun quirky things about it. 
um yeah i think it could be really nice hopefully it's just yeah, a straight but, up adventure kind of thing and you know, hopefully, yeah how could they yeah. do it because if you've already played if you played the game you already know story well the thing is the there's part. a new story every game mm-hmm. so you can just they okay. can just create a new story like a vault dweller comes out it's the apocalypse what's the story there it's like the there. witcher i mean right it's the same people, exact thing people eating that stuff up mm-hmm. yeah. yeah i still haven't watched the witcher that's something that i'll eventually get to oh well, you should speaking of superman to netflix then <laughs> Yeah, I, oh yeah, yeah that I is Superman. Like I forgot. Yeah, because <laughs> he has the long Doesn't hair. Look, yeah, the white there's hair. So many changes yeah. everything. And there's so many Superman out there. So you know. Well, there is more <laughs> other big news, um, yes. and you guys might be able to talk on this a little bit more. But I, because I know nothing about it, but Hamilton is being brought to Disney Plus. Nice is this on the July end? 3rd, which is July 2nd, essentially at 11:59 p.m. Transition over to midnight. So. By the time this podcast is actually live, Hamilton will be available and everybody will already have watched it like 10 times. No, I is will this die. The, <laughs> is this, the, is this the Dorothy Hamilton on ice thing? That they're talking about? Oh, no, that one's on uh, Amazon. Yeah. Oh, that's a prime special. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll make sure to tape that tonight. Okay. It, it's just insane because I would have never watched this play in a million years. Exactly. I'm not going to go and pay like $150 for nosebleed seats. Definitely that I not. probably won't even be able to get the tickets because they're in such demand. Like people That's are waiting years price. to go That's see That's not how it. much you pay for that, <laughs> those tickets, by the way. So yeah, me neither. I would not want to do that. But hey, if, if it's on my, my free Disney Plus, I'll, I'll watch it at some point. I won't even watch it for free. <laughs> oh wow no because i can't there's something about like okay i dig a musical i dig a musical like for instance uh moulin rouge or chicago okay. where there's acting in between hamilton is straight up singing from start to finish there's no acting it's like it's uh acting. it's like dream girls where in the movie dream girls where they literally oh, sing yeah. from start to, i forgot uh, about that movie i oh god I just, it drives me nuts. Like, I just want the singing to stop. <laughs> I just want the singing to stop. Oh, but aren't they kind of like, like rhyme rapping and it's not yeah, always. Yeah. Like, sure. The storytelling yeah. of Alexander Hamilton, who has such a great mm-hmm. story because he was such a genius to create the whole Federalist Papers and drive the creation of our union and to then die by the hands of Aaron Burr in a duel because Burr. he fell for his chick and i mean aaron burr, aaron burr is dumb there, Never doesn't and, get that because he's not old enough to get that commercial alex, like, alex, alex, just, just give, commercial it, give it a chance from back alex. in the day just give it a chance dude you, you i'll don't tell know, you, you might what, like man, it i don't think i will you have to watch it just because it's so hyped up this is the most hyped about thing in the history of time it really is. I'm so, just so now getting crazy. to Smallville. I have to watch it just because of the hype. <laughs> I have no idea if it's good or not, but I sure am giving it a chance. Uh, I have no yeah. interest in it, but I probably will watch it at some point soon just because it is on. No. So, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> I'm excited for it. So. Nice. Well, it's go. interesting that Disney also pivoted because this was they paid $75 million for the theatrical rights. And without Uh-oh. theater releases for the foreseeable future, they're like, let's throw it on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Makes sense. What Gotta was Lame as Rock? That was the other one. Mm-hmm. Lame as Raw was the. No, yeah. that was absolutely terrible. Yeah, it's great. We don't it, it's oh. a good movie. Okay, so I watched the movie. The Greatest Showman. That's another good one. There but go. there's acting in between. So I loved The Greatest Showman. I thought that that was so much fun and the music was great. But Lame as Raw was literally from start to finish music, 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 music. And it drove too me much nuts. Music. There, was, there was one. <laughs> one scene it's like it's a musical or something there was one scene where one person (laughs) stopped singing and he literally said one word in not sing song where he goes no and i was like oh a breath of fresh air (laughs) oh someone's not singing yeah I see. So I, I don't think that I could do this. It's kind of weird because you love to sing, but you don't like to I know, sing. Right? But I like to talk in between. That's true. Like he doesn't actually... sing the whole podcast. That's that's a later episode. Well, I think that should be a new thing. Alex should try for one episode. He'll sing everything. I, I will says. say that our shorts are going long. So we should oh, wait, probably curtail minutes. this that conversation. Long. There's soon. one big news story also. So 
it relates to us being Twitch affiliates. I started streaming some Animal Crossing. And on July 3rd, because that's a big day for updates yeah. and releases, there's a new summer update. So you can actually go jump and dive into the ocean and swim around. And I guess all those sharks that you fish up aren't going to eat you. I don't know. Oh. I wish they did. Oh. It would add more intrigue to the overarching structure of the oh, game. Oh, yeah. There if we could go. kill on the game, that'd be great. I yeah, keep yeah, trying to have... Would... I keep trying to have my villagers mate, but they won't. Like I'll just like get them in the same room together, and they just don't do anything. I'm like, uh, what? I have mood Fast lighting and candles. Time for ten like, years. Are they the happens. same species, or are you going no, with like oh, anteater no. and hippo? And yeah, I'm trying just... to mix it up. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. You forgot it's uh, being progressive. It's, uh, Nintendo. I know. Nintendo's not. Yeah. I won't go that okay. direction. Um, speaking of games, I yeah. I downloaded a uh, a game on my VR for those who have a VR headset like Oculus or anything like that. I downloaded Jurassic World VR, and wow. Does the that thing chase is... you? No, so it, I guess uh, it's not really a game in a way. Hard pass. <laughs> Wait, what, is, what did you, you said Tyrannosaurus? Does yeah, the T-Rex chase, chase you? you? No, you pretty much hang out with Blue the Raptor the whole time. So Blue the Raptor is running around, <laughs> then the T-Rex comes out. But is and it like a little a, Tamagotchi or something? They get into a battle. <laughs> No, man. He's like a three D. He's a three D expanded a VR, VR version Tamagotchi. of Tamagotchi. Okay, yeah. cool. I like it. I but dig. you don't feed him. You don't clean up its poop. You don't so do. What do you do in the You're game? You're not far, the, far enough into so the game. So technically, That's it's not level. really a game. Oh, <laughs> like an experience. It's an experience, and honestly, it's a awesome experience, and it's free. So okay, I would this say, is free. all right. Yeah, if you have a VR headset, download it for free because it's actually a really fun experience. I'm actually, I can't wait for my nephew to come over for 4th of July so I could, he it's loves scary. dinosaurs. Cool. Nice. And for him to be like steps away from a T-Rex screaming in his face, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna So VR developers, awesome. this is putting you on blast. Make a game where you're in the little Jurassic Park vehicle and the T-Rex oh, comes over the fence cool. and his face is coming down you and you're holding the glass screen. And then you get in the, the Jeep and he's chasing you down. Come on, let's get some Jurassic. Don't just throw the Jurassic name onto yep. this makeshift stuff. I'm telling you, VR is still behind the times. I several, several still years love my VR. Behind. I know it's great. I'm just saying. I log into it every day because it's great. Nice. Um. <laughs> Cool. At that, uh, I do want to do a uh, podcast um, spotlight. Shout yeah, shout out spotlight. This week's spotlight is a podcast called Mission to Zix. Mission oh. to Z-Y-X-X. It's, it's an improv podcast that's kind of like Star Wars in a way, but it's a total goofball, fun improv. Like they, they have comedians on all the time. It's actually a ton of fun. And the latest episode that I just listened to today had me dying laughing. It was hysterical where they went to a planet where giant monsters come down from the moon and these turtles are in a group. Teenage turtles are in a Power Rangers group called Teenage the Tor Turtles. Yep. They're, they're tortoises. They're called yep. the tortoise, uh, tortoise troop or something like that. So it's a making fun of Multiple turtles things. and yeah. Power Rangers. But when they start playing the Power Rangers music, it's just, I, I felt myself driving faster because the Power Rangers music was, good. yeah, Turtle Troop, activate, Turtle Troop, activate. It was bonkers. It made me laugh so hard. So that is going to be my podcast uh, spotlight. You guys got to uh, check it out. Mission like to it. Zix. All right. Uh, well, if you guys are at it, I mean, check out some of our friends too. We got the, uh, the four dorksmen. Geek Together, STS Guys, uh, The Average Nerd Podcast, which is uh, still fairly new, so check them out. And then Nerdy Curious is also great, good friends of ours. So check those guys out if you can. Give them a listen. And that's awesome. it, I think, for this week. That was a short secondary update on the happenings. And this is your host, Trevor Drone, and talk to you later. Yeah, probably out. See ya. DeLorean, roll out! That's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm going with it now. <laughs>